Let's do glowing makeup, not glowy makeup. We're gonna start with an eye primer, but we want one that's translucent, see-through. That way our skin tone and undertone peeks through. Let's do warm tones. They normally add a nice warm glow to the skin. I'm gonna pick this up on one side of my brush and we're just gonna start to tap back and forth. I feel that when we think glowy makeup, we think very wet, luminous foundation. We think so many things that might not work for all skin types, but with glowing makeup, it's gonna work for all skin types. Grab this shade on the side of the brush. When we grab it on the side, we're able to just press it right in here very quickly and evenly. If you have hooded eyes, where you pick up your shadow on your brush matters so much. Picking up this shade that we're now shading with on the tip of the brush, lets us have a lot more precision and we're able just to press it right out of that fold. See my natural fold there? We're wanting to go over that and create that depth to the eye. Then we can just tilt our head back again. That shadow's just on the tip of the brush and then just fill in any gaps. Now it's important that we wipe our brush off. We're gonna wipe it off on Sheila. Grabbing a very small amount of this shade and I'm just gonna press it and I'm not really using this to highlight, I'm really using this just to blur this top part. We'll blur later with foundation as well, but we'll call this a pre-blur. We want to look for a sparkle closer to our skin tone, but we want that sparkle to not have a base. Let's see what these do. So what I'm looking for is when the light isn't hitting it, am I able to see my skin through it? I can see it through that, but I want to try one more thing. I think we'll go with this one, but we might add a topper later. Let's lay down some extra base. Let's not grab too much. We still want it to be a wash. That wash is what's gonna make it look like our skin, but glowing. This is definitely a lit from within look. I have micellar water here on my brush and I'm just cleaning up any kind of fallout and I'm just going to ever so lightly carve. Fallout's gonna be completely normal with these types of shadows, but that is why I do my eye cream after. I'm gonna use a caramel liner for my waterline. It's gonna to continue to make the skin look very even and even skin looks very glowing. Black liner, let's use this rich brown liner. Notice I'm doing one eye at a time. That's really important when it comes to smudging. But by the time I get over here, this one might be dry. Grab a little bit of the shade on the tip of the brush and we're just going to smudge this outer part. So we're gonna do falsies, but I wanted to let you know, just in case you're not sure, we're gonna put mascara on before the falsy, and the reason why is because we need that depth, that way we can hide our natural lash in that false lash. And I also wanna let you know that I don't like to put mascara on strip lashes. So strip lashes are just a complete strip of lash, exactly what it sounds like, um, but I don't like to put it on there, and the reason why, it can change the shape of that strip lash, and that's normally not what I'm after. We wanna keep all of that floof of the falsy. So glowing makeup isn't about glowy foundation. It's more about the textures and tones of the eyeshadow, blush, and lip. So use your favorite matte foundation or your favorite glowy. Just use whatever you love. Now this part is important. We're gonna take a little bit of foundation here on our brush. We wanna make sure that we don't pick up too much. And this is gonna add our undertone and our skin tone to this look and again that's what this is about it's almost celebrating our skin tone and undertone look at how nice this looks so glowy i also don't want a harsh line over here today i just want everything to look completely melted into the skin so believe it or not this is a major tip when it comes to that lit from within glow. We're gonna take a little bit of corrector. I have an entire series on corrector. Um, there's something there for everyone. I talk about how to use them for all skin tones. Now, I don't have very dark under eyes, but what we're doing here is we're applying this corrector first, and it's gonna help even balance our concealer when we apply that in just a second. We're also going to end up applying less concealer because this little bit of corrector is doing what it needs to do. This is also a really good tip in case your concealer is too light. This one here from House Labs, I love the color, but alone it's a little bit too light and then that's just going to defeat the purpose because I'm going to wind up with shadows and more darkness underneath my eyes. It's all about balance. Let's do a liquid blush. And this one's gonna be good for all skin types because it's a liquid, it's not a cream. I'm gonna apply this before I apply any bronzer, any powder, anything. 
Because anything warm are just gonna add such a beautiful glow to the skin. Now I'm gonna go pretty heavy. And if I wanna change the shape and melt it in a little bit more, I'm just gonna grab my concealer brush first and then tap over these larger areas with the foundation brush. So glowing, so smooth. Now we set, and we really wanna take time, just like we do with our eyeshadow, working it into that base. This is gonna help our makeup wear so much better. So take your time, press it in. Add some warmth underneath here with our eyeshadow. Inner corner highlight, that's certainly gonna to add to that glowing look. I'm gonna use a very light hand with the bronzer. Too much of this could dull our glow. I'm gonna warm up my nose just a little bit. The lips are really gonna bring this together. We're gonna to start with a lip stain. Lip stains underneath your favorite lip combo just add such a glow. Try it. Let it completely dry. Now choose any lip liner. Just grab your favorite. I've really been into this milk chocolate one. Some of you might not like a more brown lip liner, so just use what you like, but we definitely need the lip stain. Now this is an important step. Luckily, these are only $4.99. These are from JCat Beauty. We need something very glowing. There are other shades, but this is just gonna add so much glow to the look. Now look at how glowy this looks. Glowing makeup doesn't have to mean glowy, dewy foundation, and it doesn't always have to mean a ton of highlighter. We don't even have highlighter on, but my skin and all of my features are just glowing. Use the products you already have, but here is a guideline of what this look consists of. It's mainly about that glowing lip stain. It's about a translucent shimmer. Save this for later because I feel like this is an amazing holiday look. Okay, I love you. Bye.